right, so Jay, uh, why don't you let us know what's been going on? Oh, do you mean since we had to dine and dash out of that five-star restaurant? Well, a couple things. Uh, Winston has been going through all of his options, and he tried to do a Kickstarter, actually, a Kickstarter campaign, but he realized that he's been banned from the site. Yeah, because he didn't keep uh, some promises from his old campaigns. He promised his $100 tier donors that he would do a Skype call with them, a 15-minute Skype call, and instead they received an email explaining that he forgot he didn't have a webcam. So then he took to actual begging, literal actual begging on a street corner. Uh, I think we raised two, maybe three dollars, uh, but then we were robbed. So yeah, now, uh, now Winston has decided to shift gears a little bit. You know, this guy, I, I think he means well, and I think he really does want to be a good filmmaker, but I don't think he, I don't think he gets how people work. I think you're right. I don't understand his movies are bad. <laughs> I've got it! I've got it! King of Blood, the sequel. Um, as opposed to Rome, Wisconsin? Don't forget about Rome, Wisconsin. It doesn't matter. This is, this is far more pertinent than Rome, Wisconsin. Well, speaking as a fan of King of Blood, yes. um, I wasn't, I wasn't really desperate for more material. I kind of wanted to see you pr progress. Jay, um, listen, if I listened to every individual audience member, I would never have made a second film. I would just have kept making King of Bloods. But I have to listen to the masses. And just because you don't necessarily agree with the King of Bloods sequel doesn't mean I shouldn't do it. Artistic vision is something that's very important to directors, and one day I'm sure you'll understand. <laughs> but for now, Jay, what's important is that we make King of Blood 2. Now, with that, of course, comes the realization that he would have to get the same actress from King of Blood. I believe her name is Nancy Warren. Don't worry about Nancy. Nancy's an old friend of mine, an old fling of mine. <laughs> She'll do what I say. Interesting, because, you know, you guys haven't worked together in seven years. Well, it's because I haven't needed some mid-looking woman to perform in my pieces. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. Hey, if if she's on board, we're on board. Right, guys? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Sure. Well, yeah. Thank God I have someone in my corner. <laughs> right, Jay? Uh... I expect this whole meeting that we're about to go to between him and her to go perfectly and for nothing to go wrong. Just like, uh, just like the rest of the trip, so. She should be in here. <clears throat> hey. Hey. Hey, Winston. Uh, it's been a while. Yeah, I guess it... Um... What's going on? Oh, um... Did I not mention the documentary to you? No, you didn't. Oh, it's no big deal. These guys are just filming a YouTube documentary about me. Uh, it's... Do you mind if we can come in? Come in. <laughs> Great. Come on in here. So you said this was important? Oh, I would say so, yes. And I'm pretty sure they would agree with me too. Right? Um, so this is business related? Uh, no, 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 no. Not business, more art related. Five words. King of Blood, the sequel. No. I, I am making King of Blood the sequel, and I would like for you to be in it. No, Winston. No, no, I don't think you understand. I am making a sequel to King of Blood, and I would like for you to be in it with me. And I would like for every copy of that film to be incinerated. But we don't always get what we want, do we? I, I, I don't understand. This is a huge opportunity for you. Funny. That's what you told me during the last film, when you forced me to do a sex scene with you. Okay, I forced your character to have sex with my character. Has the concept of filmmaking been completely lost on people? I do not want to commit myself to this again. Oh, I'm sure it's just because you're so busy. Hmm? What? I'm just making an intelligent observation. You seem to be in such high demand nowadays. You don't even have time for little old Winston. Hmm? Do you know why that is, Winston? Can you think of any reason as to why I might not be in demand? It's 
because your fucking film haunts me like a ghost. My Casper, the friendly ghost, maybe? The only friendly thing about her are the random weirdos who approach me on the street and quote the fucking dialogue at me. Pelican! I hardly knew her! Do you know the last person to quote that line to me, Winston? It was my boyfriend. When I caught him cheating on me. He didn't apologize or admit that he was wrong. He just quoted that line at me because he knew it would embarrass me. And guess what? It did! Well, that does sound like a personal issue. Personal? No, you don't even want to know what you did to my professional life, do you, Winston? Unless you want to talk about all of the auditions I walked in on and the casting directors just laugh in my face. Or, or, maybe we want to talk about all of the jobs I almost got until someone recognized me from your bastardization of cinema. What? Do you have anything you'd like to say? You're welcome. I mean, I just gave you the opportunity to showcase your talent, but you just want to be a bitch, and that's, that's cool, that's fine, that's... whatever. Yeah, good talk, guys. Um... We're just gonna wrap it up. It was only going to be a peck this no. time, not a full... Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. It was a pleasure. Just, just go. That's fine. We'll just recast her role in King of Blood. It was more of a director's film, anyway. Did you actually force her to do a sex scene? Did you do that? It took some convincing, sure. You know, I have to admit, that's, uh, that's pretty fucking shady. Shady? Yeah. Sh I'm shady for making my actress act. Yeah. Do you have any idea what Stanley Kubrick did to Shelley Duvall for The Shining? Where are you going? With he that? put that poor woman through psychological torment. I made my actress do what? One measly little sex scene and suddenly I'm the bad guy. Would you berate Stanley Kubrick if he were here? Well, if he were alive and in this car, maybe. No, because you think Stanley Kubrick is a great director. Well, he is. Sorry. So that's where we draw the line, hmm? At quality. Well, it's not even quality, Winston. It's Stanley Kubrick, with that one movie, has done more for the world of cinema to the craft of filmmaking than any of your movies combined. It's just a fact. Oh, yeah? Then why are you talking to me? Hmm? So, Jay, what'd you think of that? Well, I, um... Are you coming? Yeah, we're coming. Hurry. Jesus Christ. Hello, everybody. Um, after our explosive interview with Nancy Warren, uh, we decided to get a second opinion. So we are here today to talk with uh, the uh, actor behind the titular character in King of Blood. Uh, is it Rick? Just call me Richard. Richard. Okay. Well, Richard, um, like I said, we uh, talked to Miss Warren, uh, and she did not seem happy about the production of King of Blood, the, you know, the making of everything. It seemed like there was a lot of bad feelings. I just wondered, did you have those same feelings? Uh, it was single-handedly the worst experience of my life. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> have you not seen the behind-the-scenes footage of the film? Behind the scenes footage, I don't think we have. All right, Rick, yes. are you ready? Yes. Are, are you are you rolling? It's not. No. Um. Hit the pelican. hit the button on. Come this way. Come this way. It's I want you to frame monster. her over my right shoulder with my ear in focus because I'm listening to her lies and deception. We won't worry about coverage on her. Okay. So, so. if you could just stand where she is right now, uh, Nancy, but don't move. Um, don't move. Stand where she is, though. Been working with the pelican. Pelican? I hardly know her. That's bullshit! God, I don't know what to say! Cut! Uh, cut! Your line is bullshit. Bullshit? No, no. this is bird this, shit. This is bird shit. How much simpler could I make it for you, Nancy? Do you understand? Simple, say it yep. with me. Bullshit. bullshit. No, no, this, this is, is bird, bird shit. shit. Okay. All right. 
Rick the Pelican has knocked me into the bathtub. Nancy, are you listening? Mm-hmm. Nancy, you're the cameraman on this shot. It is very important that you understand my artistic That's vision. Okay. Yeah, wh what, Rick? I'm having a hard time seeing where you're at. Rick, it does not matter. Follow my voice if you have to. I'm not a rooster. What? I think it's a chicken. What, you, what did you call it? It's a rooster. It is a pelican! There's not a hole for my mouth in here. Well, that's interesting. Maybe you should save your oxygen for your lines I, then, Rick. Um, I just, I can't breathe, Wait. Oh, oh, Rick, Rick, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, Nancy, Nancy, get him off of me. I, uh, Get out of the fucking tub, dude. Interrupt the cut by saying you can't get out of the tub. Have you tried, Rick? Do you fucking see the problem, Nancy? Here? Well, listen, I just don't think you're looking at this from our point of view. I can't get up, right? She can't move, and she can't come in through a door with me in the fucking tub, blocking. Um. Well, thank you for talking to us, uh, Richard. I uh, really appreciate it. Yeah. Right. Have a great day. Okay. Okay. Is that all? All right. Thank you. Bye.